some phage vectors can be used for DNA sequencing as well and in, in addition to that uh, in case of other applications. So for this purpose we can use bacteriophage M13 and its derivatives. Bacteriophage M13 it is also an example of uh, filamentous phage that can effect, uh, infect the host organisms like the E. coli. So during the reproduction process bacteriophage M13 it is not going to kill its host organism rather the phage particles they are removed or escape by the process of budding. One of the important characteristic feature of the M13 phages is that they are the single-stranded uh, DNA. Uh, so they, by having single-stranded DNA molecules uh, in their uh, particles, uh, they can be used effectively uh, for the sequencing of uh, DNA molecules. Because uh, if you have a look on the Sanger, method of DNA sequencing that we will discuss uh, in coming chapters. Uh, here we require single-stranded DNA fragments as a substrate for the sequencing uh, process. And bacteriophage M13 that contains single-stranded DNA, they may be a good source as a vector to produce single-stranded DNA molecules. But if we want to clone double-stranded DNA into M13 vector, then the M13 single-stranded DNA, it must be first converted into double-stranded form, which is double-stranded replicative form. Naturally, when filamentous phages like M13, they infect their host organism, their single-stranded DNA during the process of replication it can be converted into double-stranded replicative form uh, because this double-stranded replicative form now it can be recognized by different type of restriction endonucleases that is not possible by uh, using single-stranded DNA. So naturally these M13 phages they can be uh, used to clone DNA fragments that is having the size uh, of 5 kilo base pairs. So here uh, we can insert the foreign uh, DNA and again modified lambda, uh, modified M13 phages. Uh, one of the example is uh, M13 MP18. Uh, it also contain beta galactosidase gene that encode this enzyme and again it act as a selectable marker. This diagram it indicated the map of cloning vector that is M13 MP18. If you have a look it contain the lag promoter. Promoter is a segment of DNA that can cause the transcription of the genes that is under its control. This M13 MP18 vector it also contain a lag Z gene that encodes the enzyme beta galactosidase and at the start of this lax Z gene, this red region, it is a polylinker molecule and it may be up to 54 base pairs and it may encode up to 18 amino acids. And these are different type of amino acids that it can encode up to 18 amino acids and the addition of these amino acids within the product of lax Z gene, it will not affect the efficacy of beta galactosidase enzyme. This polylinker molecule, it is present here and it contain different cloning sites for different type of restriction enzyme. So here the foreign DNA it can be inserted. When foreign DNA is inserted, it can cause the inactivation of the lac Z gene and if beta galactosidase it is not produced, it will indicate that foreign DNA it has been inserted. How we will select a recombinant DNA molecule? As I told you that the beta galactosidase it is produced and after that the modified lambda phages they are used to infect the E. coli host. If E. coli host is it is infected and 
it is lysed, then it means that beta galactosidase it is not produced. That is indicated by the colorless plaques. Colorless plaques means that after cell lysis, the beta galactosidase gene it has not been expressed due to insertional inactivation. So foreign DNA presence it is indicated by different type of colorless plaques. On the other hand, if blue colored plaques are there, it indicates the activity of beta galactosidase enzyme because the bacterial strains they were grown on a selective medium that contain a chemical which is called as X gall. So actually this X gall that is supplemented in the medium it is fibromo 4 chloro 3 indolyl beta D galactopyronocyte and shortly it is called as X gall. When beta galactosidase it is produced it will cause the hydrolysis of X gall so a color indicator it is released that is evident by the formation of blue plaques. Blue plaques indicates that the foreign DNA it has not been inserted and recombinant phages they are absent whereas on the other hand if beta galactosidase activity it is inactivated due to the insertion of the foreign DNA then it means that the recombinant DNA it is there and colorless plaques are produced. So this is the mechanism of selection of recombinant phages by uh, using a selective medium that contain uh, X goal that will indicate whether foreign DNA is present or absent due to the activity of beta galactosidase enzyme. Now what is the uses of M13 vectors? As I told you that they can be used in the a sequencing process where single stranded DNA are required in the Sanger method of DNA sequencing. Another application is that we can synthesize single stranded probes that can uh, that can be used to detect other fragments of the known uh, gene that are uh, present in recombinant molecules. So by using this probe, we can have an idea that uh, whether foreign DNA it is present or not. So these are a few application of M13 as a cloning uh, vector. So M13 due to the presence of selectable marker and its modified forms like M13, MP18, it is also used to, tr to transform suitable cloning uh, uh, host organism.